C'est ça l'amour Le grand amour Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. In today's video, as you guys have seen from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top favorite, most complimented perfumes this year. Perfumes that I've just been having in rotation that have just been working for me. So if you like to see this type of content, watch till the end. Comment below what perfume is your favorite currently. I would love to know what is your feedback about it or any more recommendations. If there's a perfume that's been working for you this year, share share with the girls share with me share with the world okay don't gatekeep okay anyways with that being said let's get this video started Ooh, i look good i'm also wearing the primark outfit that i shared with you guys the other day i told you don't don't walk to primark run anyways let's get comfy so before we get started i put all the perfumes over here on this side so if you see me looking on this side it's because i'm picking it up these are the perfumes right here but before we get started i just want to share with you guys the most important thing about smelling nice is having a good shower routine make sure you're scrubbing your skin real good make sure you're oiling your body real good and first and foremost that you're absolutely moisturized before you go in with any perfume and expecting miracles okay so first things first get your shower routine together and if you guys would love to see a shower routine comment below and i'll be doing that separately but first things first let me share with you guys something that I only share with my closest friends and i feel like since i'm building a community on here why not share the same tea so i'm not gatekeeping anymore this you see this this is from a brand called ajmal where's the name it's right here ajmal generally has the best oud the best perfume oils just some of the best amazing things ever and if you ever get a chance to go to an ajmal store this is only made in the uae and they have like they have a shop they have shops around and they also have like stalls in the mall so if you get a chance if you're watching this from dubai and you've never checked that out i don't know what you're doing you need to run to the mall and go to ajmal store in mall of emirates dubai mall even in the souk they have it so check them out now the particular one it's not every oil that's like giving some are too strong and they smell more of a unisex perfume which i'm not really a fan of but this one particularly is called musk silk that's the name of this one now let's open it when i came to america i od'd i literally brought three of this with me just because i was so worried i will never find it and guess what you can't find it here you cannot find it in america luckily for me my friend was going to dubai last week and i asked her to bring some for me so thank god that's going to be my position again because this is my last bottle and that's how much that's left right there i was just looking at it i'm like i'm not going to dubai anytime soon and why is it going down because i use it every day so let me tell you what this does and you don't even need much the main accords are white floral fresh powdery amber vanilla and sweet it says all that but i think this particular oil smells different on everybody and i feel like that's the most that's the beauty of it it doesn't have a particular strong scent that everybody is going to be the same it like goes with your own scent so i usually take a little bit of this like literally and i just place it here because i was like i can't find it anywhere before my friend went to dubai last week i was like and then i tap it here i tap it here here and sometimes i put it behind my legs and sometimes even on my stomach area like that that's it that's it then you now put your perfume okay i repeat if you get a chance or you visibly or you can you know someone going to the middle east you know someone going to dubai tell them to get you this particular oil and watch your life change i'm not even kidding i know i sound dramatic but honestly the best perfume oil ever and everyone who i have ever introduced this to are obsessed literally again ajmal i'm gonna leave the name the exact name um linked below i don't know i might just be saying take a trip to dubai because of that oil <laughs> i just might be saying that Mm. like it basically just sits well with you and it's just oh and if you wear it like let's say i've worn it now tomorrow the day after i can smell it on my clothes i can smell it on myself days after sometimes i put it when i put this and then i put it on my hair 
it's it's over it's over it's over people literally run behind me to ask me what i'm wearing and i'm like yep the reason is because i wore this and then i wore the other perfumes i'm wearing so i would highly recommend checking out oils another oil that i showed you guys recently is this one like i mentioned you can use this on your body but i particularly use this on my hair but we'll get to hair perfumes um hair oils and hair perfumes a little bit later now let's get started with the perfumes let's begin with the light scents i will start with this one joe malone this is the peony and blush suede cologne i love this perfume for many reasons i feel like it's perfect for daytime let's get into the notes let's let's do the notes first so this pretty much has only um three notes the top note is red apple it's very crispy it just smells like red apples the heart the heart note is peonies that's why it's called peony blush and suede and the base note is suede that's pretty much it it's pretty fresh like if you're looking for something fresh almost like it's it's subtle it's very fresh it's giving i'm not trying too hard but you smell so amazing like what is that it's so light it's so feminine um, most times that i'm going out to see my family or with my in-laws i usually put this on because it's just so subtle it's calm but it's like amazing next i would recommend is this one the chloe um nomad this is the name actually the, nom the name is on the back right there as you guys can see i have used this perfume so much i i don't even need to look at the notes for this one okay it smells like pears if you love pears i'm gonna put a picture of a pear here if you love this fruit this one right here then you're gonna love this perfume it's so fresh it's so fresh so i highly recommend to check this out i know chloe has great perfumes but for me personally this is one of my favorite ones and yeah i would give this 10 out of 10 i always reach back for it this is something i'll definitely get back another one before the year ends so this is another fresh perfume this is the gucci flora gardenia the emerald one i don't know what i just said but it's called gucci flora emerald gardenia the notes the main notes of this is fruity floral white floral citrusy so similar so this one this one and this one i would say these three are from the same family literally so that's what i meant by i'm gonna start with the fresh ones and then go to the little bit darker ones i highly recommend this again for daytime activities it is very oh it's very fresh like i feel like i'm gonna say the word fresh you're gonna be wondering okay is everything fresh yes the three that i showed you right here these three are super fresh highly recommend to check it out if you get a chance um get a tester see it for yourself if you like it get the big bottle absolutely worth it now let's get to another scent that is now heading from fresh to a little bit more what are you wearing you know those vibes <laughs> yeah um my favorite perfume on earth is this one the Guerlain, and this is mongarla i love this perfume so much i usually have like bottles um after bottles after bottles saved like right now this is my last one and I already know that I'm going to replace this immediately. So the two things I know I'm gonna buy this month is this, this, and I'll show you the third one. That's it, that's the only perfume I feel like I wanna refill. But this perfume right here, I have never met a single person who doesn't love it. This, let's, let's get into the notes. Um, the notes on this are, key notes are jasmine, lavender, and vanilla. I feel like that's what I love about it most. Um, it is warm and sweet garments and it says it's warm and spicy but i would give it a little bit fresh as well but this perfume and me best friends literally i highly recommend if you're looking for something to wear in the winter whenever you wear this during the cold season i promise you people will be like wait a minute what are you wearing it smells good and that's probably going to be this perfume i'm not even kidding so i would rate this one million out of a million like literally that's how much i love this perfume let's go to the next one next perfume you guys saw me get it recently this is the coco mademoiselle chanel like i mentioned earlier i've had this before in the past and i just didn't get a chance to renew it uh, i don't know if i'll renew it again it's just there like it's just one of those fresh perfumes that yeah cool 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 you got it and then you know and yeah i like it but clearly if i didn't restock you in a year that means you're not that important but it's a good perfume um the top notes would be citrusy woody patchouli sweet white floral rose vanilla warm and spicy um if i was to fill up this perfume again i would think about it twice and then i would go and get three of these that's that's how i feel about it this i like this i love 
difference. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much done with the fresh, fresh scents. Now we're getting into the dark scents. And the first scent that I would highly recommend, I feel like this perfume should take the, the perfume of the year because it went so viral and I feel like this should have gone viral, but since that didn't, here. You guys already know, everybody and their mama has one of these. Honestly, it's a good perfume and I feel like if you feel like, oh, everybody got it, I don't wanna try it, no. Absolutely why you should have it is because everybody has it, because it's that good. Um, highly recommend the intense one though. I wouldn't recommend the other one. This particular one is the intense one. You guys can see I like OD on it already. It's like about to finish. Mm. Top notes is lavender. Um, middle note is orange blossom. Bottom note is saffron accord. Are you guys seeing a similarity of the things of the perfumes that I like? Yeah, yeah. They're all in the same family. It's absolutely worth every penny and I highly recommend the intense one because it's that beautiful. This perfume, I would wear it more in the night. I will wear it on the night out. I would wear it on date night. I would wear it just in the evening. It's just so vibey. And during the cold season, I feel like it goes too. So 10 out of 10. One million out of a million. Just saying. Okay, next perfume is this one, Amouage. This perfume, one of my best perfumes. I, and as you guys can see, it's a little left, but when I'm spraying this, I'm so stingy with it because it's expensive, one. Secondly, I just, I don't know. It's one of those perfumes you don't even need it in big quantity. You just need it in this size and it does the job. What, what does it smell like? It smells like money. This smells like success. This smells like, mama, I made it. Honestly, I only wear this perfume to like an important meeting, an interview, I wanna get something done. Um, like very life-changing things, I would wear this perfume. <laughs> I don't know why, I gravitate towards it. I'm like, today is the Amouage day. And the particular one that I love is Dia. Dia smells so good. And the notes on this are bergamot, sage, violet leaves. The heart notes are rose oil, orange, flower, peony, oris, and base notes are vanilla. What would, like, what would this collection be if there's no vanilla? I feel like all my perfumes have to have vanilla. White mask, sandalwood, and cedarwood. Honestly, t honestly, this perfume can be like unisex, but for me, I just feel like it's more, it's more for like on the feminine side. At the same time, this perfume just, reminds me of so much good things and I love this perfume highly recommend to check it out if you're looking for that Strong perfume when you walk in the room. Everybody will know who you are. This is it Amouage Dia. It's a game changer That or maybe I just love Oud. Now, let's go to the next one. Next is Replica by The Fireplace Good thing with this the notes are on it. Let's read this says it is um burning wood and chestnut it smells just like that honestly it's so vibey this perfume is unisex as well i love this on myself i love this on hubby and it just smells so divine it smells very much winter vibes like it's giving a luxurious cabin getaway i absolutely love this is the only replica perfume i've ever tried like in full size and absolutely love it highly recommend to check it out if you're interested again the bottle is giving cute you can get this for your man you can get this for yourself it's one of those perfumes i don't know why i did that but um, i did it <laughs> we did it joe then we have the creme de la creme tan 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 right here this perfume yeah 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 yeah, this perfume, not even with me, with my entire being, loves this scent. If you want to be chased down the street, again, showstopper. Put this on my hair, I put this on my skin, I put this on my clothes. Nobody can chat to me. Nobody can chat to me. Alexander J, the particular um, scent is uh, Morning Musks. They have another one that's black. I'm going to put a picture here. Then they have another one that's rose. This Alexander J, the collector, his perfumes are amazing. Highly recommend. One of the best oud perfumes I have ever smelt. Literally, I had to be so dramatic and animated because it's that good. Um, I would say this is very unique. I would say this is not for everybody, but it's for the girls that love 
to stand out. It's for the girls that love to stand out. So 100% I would recommend this. So I purchased this from Dubai and again, these is one of the perfumes I came with, three of them. I got all of them and now I'm in my last bottle. And of course I had to ask my friend to get me another one because baby, we are not gonna live without this. Yeah. And this, to die for. These two perfumes are completely different. This is like more oud vibes and this is um, more fresh vibes, but these two are the, diff like if I was to be, if I was a perfume, like if I was a perfume was a question. If you were a perfume, what perfume would you be? Alexandra J Morning Musks or Mon Garlaba Garlaine? Those two, that's it. So those were the perfumes that I highly recommend. I have been using them on rotation. I have been loving these perfumes so much. Now let's get to the last part of this video, which is hair, perfumes, and oils. First things first, I mentioned this earlier. I've been using and loving this. This is from Amazon. Honestly, very fresh. You can use it on your skin too, but me personally, I love using this for my wigs and it's just giving what it's supposed to give. The notes, top of my mind, I would say is more citrusy. It's more fresh. So if you're looking for those type of vibes, just put it in your hair like I showed you guys. Put it on top like this and it just sticks to your bonnet to your everything you know what i'm saying and it's giving what it's supposed to give highly recommend you don't even need much just a little bit like i showed you guys last time dot dot and you're good to go this so. is by the brand talker as you guys can see i've used this a couple of times this is my third bottle i would also say this is very fresh very very citrusy very fresh this two together I'm telling you, when you straighten your hair or you curl your hair and you put these two together, you're just gonna do one time. If you do, I can't even believe I'm saying that. But honestly, like one flap of your hair and it's gonna be like, who's that girl? It smells that good. So highly recommend to check them out. There is a dry shampoo I would recommend, but it might leave your hair a little bit greasy so you don't need to put much in it. This is the Amika Perk Up Shampoo. And this is a dry shampoo. You need to use it like eight inches away, spray a little bit, but that's with caution. It might leave your hair oily, but if you use the right amount, it smells really good. Oh, it smells amazing. I have no idea what the notes are here, but it smells very, very fresh. It complements the citrus vibes. It complements the fresh vibes and I highly recommend to check that out so okay my loves that's pretty much it for today's video if you have got to this point don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next video ciao